food in business. Go out and just ask somebody. Invite them. Say, come, you want to go where we can have a good time where there's no sin, there's no evil, there's no hatred, but you can have just as good a time with no hangover, and it doesn't cost anything but just a little awesome. bit of time. And you'll be blessed so many ways. So let's just try to invite somebody. Every week I try to get some of my coworkers to come, but they just, they refuse. They got, they got other things to do. You got to sweep the floors or do the laundry and all, but there's going to come a day, there's gonna, not going to be any floors to sweep. There's not going to be any laundry to do. Yes. There's not going to be any dishes to wash. Mm -hmm. So let's keep that in mind. And let's just be passionate about trying to get somebody in here. And again, the Lord's got something special for us today, I know. I really feel it as he's been speaking to me all week. He spoke to me last week, and I'm still rejoicing over last week's message. As I told the sister after the service was over, I said, thank you for being obedient, because God spoke directly to me through you. Yes, yes. And may we all receive that blessing today as well. Oh, yes. But everything that we hear, everything that we say, everything that we do that comes from God, let's hide it in our hearts. But don't just keep it there. Go out and apply it to our lives and share it with others so they can be blessed as well. Okay, at this time, I got my notes here because I'll make sure I don't do anything out of order. Uh, at this time, we're going to stand up and we're going to greet everybody. And when you got to say God bless you or how you doing, really mean it. Don't just say it because it's something that we normally say. You know, sometimes, you go ahead and stand up. But sometimes, 